hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we are going to learn about how to debug the web views you see like as a mobile app developer we have to include some web views in our applications that is maybe due to like uh, uh, client perspective or uh, some technological wise we have an uh, situations like we have to include uh, web views in our application so uh, all we know like how to uh, use the web views in our application but the problem that we have to face that we are going to face is like uh, something like we can't able to debug how the web view is working and what is the network call it is doing and uh, is, if there is any issue in the web view means we can't able to get out to do that so in this video we are going to learn how we can achieve this and how we can debug the web views so i have already created an project where like uh, you created all the uh, uh, coding parts for doing a web views so i just explain it uh, one by one so i have taken url and i have taken url as a request and i converted the url as a uh, url request and i have loaded it in the web view so i have an, uh, made a web view in uh, a constant file i mean outside the functions so to just import globally so uh, after that i am in the overwrite load view i am just configuring my web view and setting the frame as zero and passing the default configuration and passing the delegate as self and main uh, adding the web view as to the my view so here i have just import the ui wk web view as delegate and the most important point is like we have uh, overcome the web view with the wk web view so we have to always import the web web kit for uh, able to utilize this uh, web views so that's it let's run this code and let's see what is happening okay so here is the web view here you can see the uh, web views that is loaded the entire screen and it is looking perfect and uh, there is no issue in it and let's see the url and i am just going to copy this and paste it in the uh, web and let's see what it is how it is okay so the the web view which is coming from the uh, chrome as well as browser and as well as in the simulators is working fine they are both are similar so there is no issue in that so here we are going to see it's like how we have to uh, uh, get the url set is going how we have to debug it and how the frame is doing and how the source code is written so for that and all in a uh, normal uh, in x code we can't able to do that but with help of uh, safari we can able to do that so for that what we have to do is like we have to open safari for it so let me open the safari okay so i have just opened the safari so in the safari at the top you will be seeing an option called developer so initially like uh, this developer option will be gets disabled if you want to enable this means you have to go and go for the preference and in the bottom you will be seeing an option called show developer menu in the menu bar so if you uncheck means it will get deselected if you check means it will get enabled so always make sure like if the developer option is not there in your toolbar means you go to the preference and check this uh, in the advanced setting tab so once you check that means if you click on this uh, develop uh, option you will be seeing like the simulator uh, option so in the simulator option so i have already opened my simulator as iphone 11 so i'm just going to choose the simulator in the in the web view debugging you will be seeing a developer.apple.com and apps.dev training so here you see like the same url which i have loaded in the web view so whenever you are loaded the web view in a simulator this option will get def uh, enabled uh, by default so go to the safari and click on the uh, develop and click on the iPhone simulator and click on the developer menu so once you click on the developer menu you will be seeing an option which is like this let me get it parallelly okay so you, you can see like uh, what is the uh, source that were written here so you see like there is some of the junk of code i know like uh, as a mobile app developer we don't know what code it is but it is something interesting like uh, if you have an ability to uh, crack this or if you have ability to do debug this means you can go and uh, interact with your uh, web uh, api developers and you can tell like what is the 
uh, error that is coming so in some cases like they will be printing and console over here so by clicking on the console tab you can able to see the console uh, printing over in this sections and we have an elements over here in the element we can see the what is the color default color they have been using and in the console we can able to see the console they have returning in the source file we can get the source and we can get the list of uh, images that they are using for their apps uh, like that now we can in the network tab it is most uh, interesting and it is more confined uh, place where network call is most important so whenever ap call is doing we will be getting notified in the network tab itself as we are doing like in the browser so i am just going to reload this section so you see there is one web api that gets reloaded here the one so this is the sections they have and uh, this is the json they have and the header is like this this is the header url and status is okay and what kind of request it is and what is the response type and whether they are passing any cookies or not and what is the timing they have been delivered this api and they, whether there is any uh, teaming and security purpose they have done anything on that like that and all we can able to see the entire information of the web api that they are using in their uh, site and and apart from that we can use the timeline sets like uh, if i reloaded the things means uh, you could see like uh, what is the network request time taking and what is the layout rendering time taking and what is the javascript even that took and how much amount of cpu interface that this particular web view is taken that and all we can able to analyze it's very deeply and you can able to see this uh, chart itself and it's a mostly it's going to be very helpful for the web uh, developers but in fact like as a mobile developer if you are guide them to do this means it will be more helpful for them when they are analyzing their uh, targets and in a storage like uh, this particular web ab doesn't have any local storage so that it's nil but in some cases some apis will have the local storages uh, in this uh, local db so here you can see the what and all data that it has been taken so that section is its storage and lastly and most importantly is graphic so in the graphic you can able to analyze what is the canvas and what is the web animations they are using and css animation cascade animation like that and all we can able to know whatever in yeah, every information very deeply in the graphic console so that's it like uh, this is this is something like very important uh, and very easier to understand about the debugging of the web view so here you see like whenever i scroll here you will be seeing an uh, inspect manner as you see in the web view so now let's go to the default uh, web browser so in the web browser you can see you can you can utilize all these things in a web browser so let me go and run this so by right clicking it you can see an option called inspect element okay okay I'll, sorry let me copy this and go and remove and save this yes so in, in this section you will be seeing the exact same web view and you will be seeing whatever uh, images they are using so the same manner like browser browser also we have on consoles elements network calls timeline storage graphics so what every information we can analyze over in the browser itself but in the web view when I mean, we import that into an uh, either in the uh, simulator or in the real device we can able to analyze this in the same manner and the most important thing is like this can be uh, debug with help with both the things so i am using simulator so i it's showing a simulator if you are using any kind of uh, devices when it's connected to the xcode then also you will be seeing that option over here automatically so whenever a new uh, real device gets connected you will be seeing that over here so so far now it's going for now it's showing just simulator only because i'm just using simulator if you are using any real device that will be get uh, displayed over here and you can work around with it so that's a simple and very easy and most important uh, things about the web view debugging that you need to analyze and um, that's it so i hope like uh, you will be enjoying this video and if you are enjoy this video please hit and like and subscribe for more video thank you so much for watching this video bye bye see you in next video